Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with .NET multi-platform application UI, .NET MAUI, inside the Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So .NET multi-platform application UI, shot .NET MAUI, it's a cross-platform framework for creating native mobile and desktop applications with c -sharp and XAML. So using the .NET MAUI, you can develop applications that run on Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows from a single shared code base. So rather than just talking too much, like let's get to it. But obviously, .NET MAUI is open source and is the evolution of Xamarin Forms, extended from a mobile to desktop scenarios. So as you can see, I've got a Visual Studio installer opened. So if you look at it here, I've actually got the um, Visual Studio 2022 preview. I've got the latest version as of this video. So. Whenever you're watching this video, make sure you actually up update it to the latest version. Yeah. So here we actually click on the modify. So once we actually click on the modify, these are, these are the steps that we're actually going to take. Yeah. So we select the ASP.NET and web development. We select this one and then we select um, universal windows platform development as well yeah and then we select mobile development with .NET so once we actually select this bit here if we look out on the other side here we've got this bit here the optional so under here we've got .NET MAUI the preview right now it's in preview by uh, new stage so we check on this box as well yeah so last but not the least obviously we can actually come inside the individual components yeah then we scroll down scroll down so to the emulators here so we can install the android emulator as well so you can actually install whatever components that is applicable to you from this part yeah so once you actually done with that bit here, then um, you click on the install while downloading. So you actually click on the modify. So here, obviously we can get the download and installation operation started. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole, uh, the whole thing finishes. Okay, so while the installation is being completed, we will look at this here. To create applications that target Windows UI library or WinUI. Well, this is what we're going to do. Like, we're going to Google this here. Um, it's a single, single project um, MSIS Packaging Tools. So this on the like Visual Studio like marketplace, yeah. So he, this is what you actually download. So this provides Visual Studio support for working with and debugging Windows applications that use single projects, single project MSIS packaging, yeah. So you you gotta download and install this. We will look at this, yeah, um, separately on a on a later video, right? So as you can see, uh, we are on 10% yeah, on the installation. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing completes. So now we've got both download and installation completing. So we just wait for the whole operation to complete so we can get into the um, next stage of the video. So now we've got both the uh, download and installation completed, we can launch the Visual Studio 2022. So here, obviously, we create a new project. So 
we're just going to scroll down as you can see i've actually got c plus plus selected so we're just going to put all languages so we're just going to scroll down so we scroll down 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 um as you can see we've got dot net maui application that's an under preview right so i'm just going to check on this bit here then we click on the next so here obviously we can give our project name set the location and whatnot and the solution as well so we're just going to click on the create So obviously I'm getting this warning, so you might as well just allow the access. So, I mean, for the initial stage, this is where we actually get created. We get this very simple resource. I mean this simple project yeah and inside there we've got main program so if you look at it here obviously we can run it on um, different platforms i.e um, windows um, android ios mac os and whatnot yeah so what we do is just going to run the windows side and see what actually comes up yeah so here this wizard will guide you through the setting up for display to the local ios so this is actually targeting ios i'm just going to go on and see what actually happens so basically download itunes so basically we're just going to look into this and then build our i mean our first app and run it on multiple platforms on my next video so i just don't want to take this actually too far as we're only trying to get started so as you can see uh, we'll be able to build our first i mean start our first project and if you come to the new side as well i mean the, the new project there was something that I, I need to show you so basically it's building so what i'm going to do is stop to cancel the build anyway so i'm just i've cancelled the build so i'm just going to leave it here but on the next video what we do is we just try and run it on multiple like multiple platforms so if you look at it here we can select the ios the android and then the mac yeah so for now we're just going to leave it as it is yeah so once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel Please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.